Smoke rises above Sevastopol after Ukraine targets the best of Russia's navy. Nearby children are evacuated, roads closed, and Russian installed officials report a cyber attack on the peninsula. Moscow claims five missiles were shot down over Crimea, while Ukraine confirmed one successfully struck the naval headquarters. Thank you, Mr. President. After taking his plea to Washington for more long-range weaponry, Vladimir Zelensky today sidestepped suggestions the US might have agreed to supply a small number. We are discussing all the different types of weapons. I believe that on the majority of what was discussed yesterday with President Biden, we will be able to reach an agreement. Kyiv is pressing on with its counter-offensive, but is dependent on more international support to strike well beyond the Russian front line. At the United Nations General Assembly, Australia's foreign minister argued Russia's ongoing invasion was making a mockery of the UN. We must demand more of permanent members, including constraints on the use of the veto who might be the next victim of state-based aggression. Adding Australia's voice to calls for reform of a world body that's main purpose is to maintain the peace. Marion Ives, ABC News.